think they would have to rally against gun violence in their own school. You think this is going to happen to other schools, you see it all the time, but you never expect it to be your school. They didn't think they have to stand in front of HISD headquarters, demanding that the superintendent and other leaders jump into action because they say the Bel Air principal needs additional support. It's keeping everybody together, which is great. Um, but our principal, he's doing all that he can with the resources that he's given. Students see few other options other than protesting. It's been a devastating week. Their classmate, Cesar Cortez, was shot in the ROTC storage room. And just today, his 16-year-old classmate, already charged with manslaughter, appeared in court. The judge ruled he must stay in custody. With Cesar's funeral set for this weekend, Bel Air High School's Students Demand Action Group, along with local Moms Demand Action Group, held the vigil and the rally today, not just to honor him, but to prevent future tragedies from happening. We decided that having a Students Demand Action chapter here was important because we were at risk as students, um, and then we were at risk as people who, who cared about the politics of the situation and, and addressing it on a larger scale. 